Have you ever wished that instead of watching a movie like this, you could watch a movie like this? How's it going, you guys? I am Ted the Tall Techie, and today we have a really exciting episode. We're gonna talk about the Epson Home Cinema 3800 projector. So would I recommend this projector? The short answer is So I used to work in the premium home theater section of a big box retailer in electronics by the name of now, while I was working there, I got to see a ton of premium home theater equipment, and what inspired me to actually get this projector was having something that I could travel with. So let's start with a few basics of the projector. The specs of the projector are as follows. It's a 4K projector, but it's simulated 4K. So it's actually two 1080p screens that are stacked on top of each other in order to fool your eye into believing that you're seeing a 4K image. In addition to that, it has two 10 watt speakers, which actually get quite loud um, and are definitely usable in an outdoor setting. They do peak at higher volumes and for the use set of this projector, most people are going to have a dedicated sound system. However, it is worth noting that the projector's volume itself can get quite loud. It just has some distortion, especially on the high and mid range of the projector volume itself. In addition to that, the projector has 3000 lumens, which if you need some context for that, basically means that it's effective in the daylight. So I could watch this during broad daylight, especially on a screen that has any sort of gray feature so you can have a better contrast ratio. The contrast ratio on the projector itself is 100,000 to one, which is actually extremely good for the price point of the projector itself. The lamp light, which is also a consideration when buying a projector, is quite good on standard mode. It has about 3,500 hours of battery life before it dies. Um, and the replacement bulbs for the lamps are actually not super expensive. They're just about $99. So this projector retails for $16.99, which sounds really expensive. And again, like I said, it's gonna be a lot more than a lot of people wanna spend for an outdoor projector or something to bring on a family trip. This projector is not an especially short throw projector. So in order to get a 120 inch screen, you have to have the projector at least 11 and a half feet from where you are projecting from. So whether or not it's hanging on the wall or sitting on a shelf or sitting on a coffee table in front of you, you have to be relatively far away to get that size image. However, if you just want a 60 inch screen, you can have it five or six feet away. So what are you getting for $1,699 that you're not gonna get out of something like a 65 inch TV like the one behind me or a projector that's cheaper? Well, you're getting a vertical and horizontal axis shift. So if you need to set the projector aside from you, it can actually do a tilt in order for it to change the angle of the projector so you can actually still have a crisp image that doesn't look distorted even when the projector is shooting from off axis. So that's really useful and a great feature as far as I'm concerned that Epson put in the projector that is not on many of the other projectors in this price point. The performance of the Epson Home Cinema 3800 offers four presets of color modes. Those are dynamic, bright cinema, natural, and cinema. Another thing this projector has in this price point is two HDMI 2.0B with full HDCP 2.2 capabilities. The other inputs on the device are USB type A for power, USB type A for accessories and firmware updates, a mini USB port, an audio jack mini out, and a DC-12 for power, and it also does support Bluetooth with aptX. So you are able to connect a Bluetooth speaker very efficiently and get good quality if you are gonna go outside and wanna use a Bluetooth speaker that you have in order to get some extra sound. 
I think that the picture quality on this projector is quite good. However, when directly comparing it to something else in the price point that is a TV, a standard TV like an OLED or a high-end full array backlit LED TV, the picture quality is not going to be as good as something like that. So the benefits that could possibly outweigh purchasing a regular television would be that you have the flexibility to have a large end screen if you have the capability of that size, that you can move it portably if you have somewhere that you want to take the projector or you want to go camping, want to go you know, outside for an outdoor movie night, anything like that. You have more options with the projector than you do with a standard TV. Also, if you have a dedicated home theater room, are able to create a true environment that can replicate a cinema in your own house, which is something that most size televisions do not have the capability of doing. Some of the other benefits of having a projector over a television are also that the input lag on a projector is quite low. So on a standard 4K TV, you're gonna have anywhere from 30 to 50 milliseconds of input lag for gaming, which is actually quite reasonable. Most people are not gonna notice the difference. However, if you're a competitive gamer, this Epson Home Cinema 3800 has a 16.7 millisecond input lag on 1080p resolution and just above that for 4K. So it's quite good for gaming if gaming is a use set that you're looking for in a projector. So one of the last things to talk about with the projector itself is the remote, which is the way that you control the projector. Um, so it is a fully backlit and quite large remote, as you can see in my hand. Um, has lots of features, access to all of the menus throughout the projector itself. You're able to control the vertical and horizontal lens shift. You're able to control which picture mode you want, obviously switching between HDMI inputs uh, and all those other good features that you would normally see in a television remote. So I think overall, if you're looking for a really high quality projector in this kind of $1,500 to $2,000 range, that the Epson offers a ton of features, contrast ratios, shadow detail, the resolution, the fact that it has HDR, and a number of other features that set it apart from other projectors and televisions in its own category. For instance, the Epson 4010 or 5050UB or the BenQ 3550, don't have HDR for the same price point, or if they do, they offer different quality images and less features than this newer projector. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below and let us know how we can improve and what you'd like to see in future and upcoming reviews. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks so much for watching.